This is a second generation iPod Touch and in this video we're going to show you how to take this unit apart. To do this you're going to need a couple of safe open pry tools and also a small Phillips screwdriver as being shown here in the video. First we're going to remove the screen from the iPod Touch. To do this we need to release several clips. The position of these clips is being now shown in the video. To release these clips, use a safe pry tool and run it between the backing of the phone and the glass. Run this along all edges to release the clips. Once all the clips have been released, gently pull away the digitizer from the rest of the iPod. Be careful as it is still attached by a small ribbon cable. To release this ribbon cable, use the safe pry tool to just gently pry this off. Once done, you will be able to separate the digitizer from the rest of the iPod. Next, we need to remove a small Phillips screw from the metal frame as being shown here in the video. Then using the safe pry tool, lift up the thin foil from the top of the LCD screen. Then continue to use the safe pry tool to lift up the LCD screen from the bottom, being careful as it is still held in with a ribbon cable. Next, there are seven small Phillips screws that need to be removed from the metal frame. These are now being pointed out in the video. Once the screws have been removed, we need to release the pop connector ribbon for the LCD screen, as being shown here in the video is right above the dock port of the iPod. Next, using a safe pry tool, start to release the clips along the side of the iPod. Once these are released, you will be able to remove the metal frame. The LCD screen has now been removed from the iPod and can be replaced if required. Now we have removed the LCD screen from the iPod Touch, we now have full access to the battery. This can now just be turned over, but it is still connected to the motherboard. Using a pair of tweezers, remove the tape that is covering the battery connections. This is a close-up of the ribbon cable of the battery which is soldered to the motherboard of the iPod Touch. To remove the battery from the motherboard, we need to heat these three connections that have been shown here in the video. Once the solder has been heated, we can then remove the battery. To install the new battery, we recommend tinning the connections on the battery ribbon, putting it into place and then just gently heating each of the connections until it attaches to the motherboard. High capacity iPod Touch replacement batteries are available on the Repairs Universe website. 